Let's put those hands together for the Lord one more time. Now God bless you, may please be seated. We announced to us last week, or uh, maybe before I go into that, please uh, let me bring our attention to the, the bulletin, the flyer for the next Destiny Encounter service. Last week we had announced to us that it's going to be an all-night service, but for some logistic reasons, uh, the program has been brought forward. We won't be having an all-night for now. Maybe at some other time, God may give us the grace to do that. But the service will still hold on the 21st, but it will be at 5 in the evening. And like we normally do, people that have desperate issues that they want God to attend to would have a special prayer session for them uh, as from 4.30. We want to encourage you all to please uh, share the information with your friends, your colleagues, your neighbor, everyone. We're using the velo velodrome of the National Stadium. Um, I can see that it's going to be a great service. The best ever. So please mark that day. It's on a Friday. So some of us that um, find it difficult to come on Monday, it's on a Friday. And I think um, we normally say thank God it's Friday. So <laughs> we'll, we'll thank God it's Friday at that event. We announced to us last week that we'll have one of our senior pastors um, come minister the word of God to us today. He's someone that I don't really know how to uh, introduce him, whether I should call him a pastor, a brother, an uncle, a father. I think he's all in all to us. He's not someone that is very new to us here. He's been here a couple of times, but I think most of the time he came here into the church. He came as half body, uh, but now the complete body is here. <laughs> so that some of us won't think that this man, this handsome man is still single. He's not single. He's blessed with a beautiful wife. Uh, and it's my pleasure to welcome first to the podium to come and greet the church, Pastor Kofo Udutola. Put your hands together for her. <laughs> she's, she's also my sister anyway. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's nice to be here this afternoon. It's good to be home with you. And um, thank you all for all you have done when my husband visited without me. So um, I pray God's blessings in your life this, mo this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank um, Pastor Peter and my sister as well for this honor. I don't take it lightly. God bless you all. Thank you. Hallelujah. She doesn't really talk too much. She doesn't talk too much. I think she has transferred all the talks to Pastor Tola. That's why once Pastor Tola holds the mic, he can talk and talk and talk, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I, I shared something with the ministers and it's very, very crucial so that we know how to prepare our hearts for what the Lord is going to do. As we were praying uh, in the minister's prayer, it just suddenly dropped in my heart a testimony that he shared with me. And I could remember the first time I was in Jesus' house, Baltimore, on his invitation. And he was taking me around. Then he pointed at a massive land around them. And he said to me, he said, Pastor Peter, we have claimed this land. And I said, Amen. And within me, I was thinking, in America, you are claiming land as if you are in Nigeria. <laughs> but somehow, all the lands that he pointed at that day, even the ones he didn't show me, as of today, God has added to the church. And you know what that tells me? If God could keep his portion for him, and he got his portion, that same grace with which he got his portion, as he ministers the word of God to us today, everywhere your portion may be, the almighty God will bring it to you in Jesus' name. So with a standing ovation, I want you to welcome the ministry of Pastor Tola Odutola, all the way from Jesus' house, Baltimore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
lift up your hands to God and begin to appreciate him this afternoon. Just say, Lord, I love you. I worship you. I praise your name. No one like you, the King of glory. The Ancient of Days is your name. You created all things. You are from the beginning. Everlasting to everlasting. There is none like you. Come on, let him hear you. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. You will not go home today without your portion. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. When your praise goes up to him, his blessing flows down unto you. Come on, somebody exalt him. Somebody exalt him. Somebody exalt him. The unchanging changer. The great God himself. The one who is not limited by time. He is not limited by time. Everyone is his throne. The earth is his footstool. Somebody magnify the Lord with me today. Let's exalt his name together. Kapore Amalia, Makambale Amasete Bolia. Come on, magnify him. Arugu Ojo Handebo. Ika Bagale Amasete Bolia. Yes, Sandebolia. Lord, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to that song. I worship you. I worship you. In the beauty of your holiness. In the beauty. In the beauty of I worship you. I worship you. For you are my righteousness, Almighty God. For you are my righteousness. You are, you are royal state. You are. You are royal Lift up your voice and say, so I cry. So Father, this afternoon we ask, O oh Lord, that the entrance of your word that brings you light, let it lighten our path today, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask by your spirit, you will give us understanding. And at the end of the day, only your name alone shall be praised. For in Jesus' precious name we have worship come on if those hands are still your hands can you jump them together hallelujah amen please let's be seated let's be seated praise the lord lamentations three lamentations three And I read from verses 19 to 24. I'm praying that you will not miss your portion today in the name of Jesus. Lamentation 3 from verses 19 to 24. It says, Remember my affliction and roaming, the womb word and the gall. My soul, my soul still remembers and sings within me. But these are the call to my mind, therefore I have hope. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. He says, they are new every morning. He said, great is your faithfulness. 
Say, the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. That hope will not disappoint you in the name of Jesus. Come on, you can say a better amen. amen. What is a portion? A portion is a share received as a gift or an inheritance. I repeat, a portion is a share that is received as a gift or an inheritance. It is a part of a whole. What do I mean by that? If you buy a loaf of bread and someone asks for a portion of the loaf of bread, you cannot get a portion except you take it out of a hole. Which means from the bread, you can take out some and give it to whosoever needs it. And if the portion has been described as a share of a gift or inheritance, then we need to know what is an inheritance. An inheritance, I dare say today, is a right of every offspring. An inheritance is a right of every offspring. According to Romans chapter 8 verse 17, Romans chapter 8 verse 17, the Bible says that we have been called joint heirs with Christ Jesus. Now, if we have been called joint heirs with Christ Jesus, it means that whatever inheritance that he has with God, we also should be partakers of it. Is there anybody hearing me today? So briefly, we need to look at some things. As a believer, what is my inheritance or my portion in Christ? Number one is healing. Number one is healing. In Isaiah 53, verse 5, Isaiah 53, verse 5, it says that he was wounded for transgressions. He was bruised for iniquities. He said the chastisement of our peace was not what? Was laid upon him. He said, and by his stripes we are what? We are healed. Healing is the children's bread. So when you demand from God healing for your body, for your soul, you are saying, God, this is my portion in Christ Jesus. He was wounded for transgressions. The Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. So when you lay claim to that, you are not laying claim to something that is not outside of you. Then that woman came to Jesus. He said, please, heal my daughter. Jesus said, no, we cannot give children's bread to the dogs. The woman said, even the dogs, they eat the crumbs. You are not a dog, but you are a child of the almighty God. Today, every affliction that has overcome your body, you are not going on with it in the name of Jesus. What is my person in Christ? Prosperity and riches. Listen to me, church. At times, some people, they bombard preachers and they say to them, they preach prosperity. I would rather preach prosperity than preach poverty. Hallelujah. What do you mean by that? Look at Psalm 35, verse 27. Psalm 35, verse 27. This is your portion. He said, let them shout for joy and be glad. I wish somebody can shout for joy this afternoon. He said, who favor my righteous cause? He said, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant? Let the Lord be magnified. Who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant? Listen to me, John. It is your person. There used to be a time we thought that when you are rich, you cannot be spiritual. It's a lie of the devil. You can be rich and be spiritual at the same time. Is anybody hearing me this morning? Every 
poverty that has ravaged your body or your, or, or your bank account or your business, today you are not going on with them in the name of Jesus. I said you will not leave this place with them in the name of Jesus. It says in turn, John 1, 2, say, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in good health, even as your soul is prosperous. Number three, what is my portion in Christ? It is peace. Say so you will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. That's Isaiah 26 verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on you. When your mind is stayed on God, it does not mean that challenges are not there. But you have made up your mind that you will not be distracted by the challenges. As long as Peter looked at Jesus, he was not able to sink. But it was when he took his eyes off that he was able to sink. This year, you will not take your eyes off God in the name of Jesus. He said, he will keep them in perfect peace. There is a peace of God that makes you to be at ease even in the midst of challenges. Hallelujah. They came to Jesus. They said, the wine has finished. He said, woman, what has, that, what has that got to do with me? He said, my time has not come. He was not anxious. Everybody may have left the party because they thought that the wine had finished and the party had finished. But when they brought the new wine, it was better than the one they drank before. This year, God will give you a new wine in the name of Jesus. I said this year, God will give you a new wine in the name of Jesus. What is my portion? My portion is to increase more and more. My portion is to do what? Increase more. Psalm 71. Verse 21. Psalm 71 verse 21. He said, you shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. When we talk about greatness, greatness, there is no other word to use for greatness than more. It's not saying that you shall do what? Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. So when you are asking God to bless you more and more, you are saying, God, increase my greatness. There is no way that increases your greatness that you will not be relevant in your society. Hallelujah. This year, God will increase your greatness. I said it will increase your greatness. In Psalm 115, Psalm 115, verse 14, he said, may the Lord increase you more and more. He said, you and your children. It is an anomaly for God to increase you and for it not to affect your children. Hallelujah. It is what? An anomaly for him to increase you and not to affect your children. I'm praying for somebody here this afternoon. Your children, they shall be greater than you. You will be greater than your parents. In the name of Jesus. What is my portion in Christ? Divine presence is my portion. Divine presence. The psalmist says in Psalm 23 verse 4, he says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your Lord and your staff. They do what? They comfort me. They comfort me. They comfort me. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. In this year, fear will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. I said, fear will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. What is my portion again? It is divine protection. It is divine protection. In Psalm 91 verse 1. Psalm 91 verse 1. He said, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. He said, shall do what? Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When you abide under his shadow, I double dare the devil to try to get you there. When you abide under his shadow, I double there, I say again, for the devil to attack you there. Because you never see a fly on a hot stove. Is anybody hearing me? In Isaiah 43 verse 2, Isaiah 43 verse 2, he said, when you pass through the waters, he says, I will be with you. He said, and through the rivers, he said, they will not overflow you. 
He said, when you walk through the fire, you shall not be born, nor shall the flames scorch you. They did not hear the testimony of our sister. She said, God, give me a testimony that this place will not be born. Because she knew if that place were to be born, it will affect her job. It will affect a lot of things concerning her. She said, Lord, give me a testimony. She did not say that she's the owner of the furniture place. And yet, she carried the body for the place. And God gave her a testimony. You are coming back with your own testimony. I said you are coming back with your own testimony. Now, I haven't said this. And this is not exhaustive. Because this year is a year of the overflow. I don't believe that it is one portion that you need. Is anybody hearing me? I said, I don't believe that it is one portion that you need. And we need to look at scriptures for all this. In 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9, 2 Kings chapter 2, Elijah was about to be taken off. And he said to Elisha, when they had crossed over, he said, ask what may I do for you? Before I'm taken away from you. And Elisha said, please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. He could have asked for a portion. But he asked for a double portion. Please, today, don't economize what you are going to ask from God. My God is bigger than your request. Hallelujah. You see, I come from Ijebu. And what they say concerning us. Is that these people, they economize everything. Yes, we may. But when it comes to God, we don't economize anything. You must ask God for a double portion. Today, you are receiving a double portion in the name of Jesus. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, talking about double portion, I don't want to ask for small things. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 5, he says, but to Anna, talking about Elkanah, the husband, he said, he gave a double portion for he loved Anna. Even though God has closed her womb, he gave Anna a double portion. Please, when you love somebody, there is a tendency for you to spoil them and to give them even more than what they ask for. Are you not the beloved of the most high God? I'm telling you today, he will give you a double portion. In Isaiah 61, Isaiah 61 verse 7, Isaiah 61 verse 7, he said, instead of your shame, you shall have double. And he said, instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. He said, therefore, in their land, they shall do what? Come on, they shall do what? They shall do what? Let me hear you. The sons of Joseph came to Joshua. And they said to him, the place where we are living in is not only too small, why is it that you are giving up one lot and one portion? And Joshua said to them, you are a mighty people, you are big people. One lot is not good enough for you. He said, the whole country will be yours. Hallelujah. The land Pastor Peter talked about lies on the right hand side of our church. They wanted to build 20 homes there. And I went there with the ministers. We walked around it. I said, they will not build the homes because we need this land. We want to use it to park. Beloved, we spoke to them every time. They said no. And our angel went to them. He said, if you love yourself, sell to this church because nobody will buy this place. Hallelujah. Whatever belongs to you, nobody will take it. They came back, they sold it to us. Ten acres. But sir, across us, we're about to buy 82 acres there. And the people, listen to me this. Listen to me. I'm talking about double portion. 
Not just one lot. The whole country shall be yours. The man who is selling is 99 years old. His parents, they've had the place for over 120 years. And they told him that he must sell to a church. So everybody that had been coming there, he wouldn't sell to them. And he wrote to us. He said, I'm ready to work with you. Because my parents have told me. You can imagine a 99 year old saying that his parents told him. You will have thought that nobody like that should have a parent. Hallelujah. Of course his parents are no more. But he remembered what he said. And at 99, he knows he's not getting younger. Is anybody hearing me today? He said, it is to you I'm selling the land to. It is 82 acres, sir. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? I have to say that so that I will whet your appetite when it comes to prayer. You will be able to pray and enlarge your heart when it comes to asking God. Joshua said to the people, he said, why are you asking for one Lord? He said, the whole country should be yours. You are too big and you are too much for one Lord. Ask for the whole country and I will give it to you. He said, go and take it. I don't want you to ask more. If you ask small and you say to yourself, that this one, it is because of this one I will be humble when I ask for small. It is a lie of the devil. Big has his advantage. Listen to me. I said big has his what? Advantage. Yes, it has it. You get to a level in God blessing you that you will make some phone calls and everybody will rally around to listen to you. I dare say there is nobody in this country that our father in the law, Pastor Deboye, will call now that they will not listen to him. So please, don't celebrate mediocrity. And say because of that, you are humble. Big has his advantage. And the reason why they will act to him, not because God has his upon him alone, but they know what he covers and he controls. He declares fasting. 100 days. And many who are not in the fold of redeemer journey 100 days. Big as advantage. And that is why I don't want you to ask for small this afternoon. Rise to your feet. We are going to pray. Rise to your feet. We are going to pray. This is a prayer meeting. This is a prayer meeting. We have to teach to lay a foundation. This is a prayer meeting. Are you ready today? Come on. Are you ready today? Come on. Are you ready today? Lift up your hands and say, Father, I have come to you today. Every part of my body that needs healing. Father, give me the portion of healing in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody go ahead and begin to pray. Either your spirit, either your soul, either your body. Every part that needs healing, healing is the children's bread. He capatabalea. Oh Lord, it does not matter what the doctors have said. Today, I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. Mangabo Satalia, Ragabagabo de Yamama, Mareketebolia. The woman with the issue of law said, If I may touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. You can touch him this afternoon. He is here with us. If I may but touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. He created you all. He created you all. So now, today, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, Makapo Tabalia, Reparebobo Shatabalia, Yikapa Tabalia, Masetabalia. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Come on, say a better amen.
prosperity and riches. Listen to me. When you matter in your family, they will not do a meeting without consulting you. If they have not been consulting you, you need to change your prayer. When you matter, they will send to you and say, can you fix, is it possible for you to be at the meeting next week, Wednesday? You say, no, I have a meeting. They say, tell us the day you'll be available. Because they know that nothing moves until you move. That will be your testimony. I said that will be your testimony. You are going to cry to God to prosper the works of your hands. Come on, say, Father, this year, prosper the work of my hands in the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead and lift up your hand. Lift up your voice. Prosper the works of my hands. Prosper the works of my hands. Prosper the works of my hands. In the name of Jesus. Makaporia. Masotebolia. Hey, Makapalia. Prosper the works of my hands. Prosper the works of my hands. In Jesus' name. We are prayed. In Isaiah 60 verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. God created you and I to shine. Because in Genesis 15, when Abraham was asking God, what will you give me since I go childless? God asked him to get out of his tent and look at the sky. He said, count how many stars you can see there. He said, as those stars are, so shall be your children. What do stars do? They shine. That is your portion. I said, that is your portion. Come on, say, Father, let my light come that I will shine to your glory in the name of Jesus. Come on. Begin to pray. He said, Arise, shine, for your light has come. Arise, shine, for your light has come. Let my light come this year. Let my light come. In whatever way, my light will come. Let it come, let it come, let it come. Let it come. Kanebo Shatabalia. Ika bagabadia, masotobolia. Let my light come, Lord. Let me shine, Lord. Let me shine, O Lord. Let me shine, O Lord. Let me shine, O Lord. Let my light shine. Hey, masotobolia. Ika patabolia, Baba. Maregere lebo shatabolia. Ask God to let your light shine. Let my light shine, O oh Lord. Let my light shine. In my business, let my light shine. In the church, let my light shine. At work, let my light shine. In my school, let my light shine. In my ministry, let my light shine. Let it shine, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Psalm 71, 21 says, You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. You are going to ask God to increase your greatness. This is your portion. Come on, say, Father, increase my greatness. Double fold in the name of Jesus. Come on, ask him to increase your greatness. To increase your greatness. To increase my greatness. More, 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 hey, more, more, increase my greatness. Satisfy me, O oh Lord. Satisfy me, Lord. Yeah, my soul trouble here. 
Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. In Lamentation 3 that we read, he says, The Lord is my portion. He said, therefore, I have hope in him. The Lord is my portion. He said, therefore, I have hope in him. When God is your portion, he satisfies you. Everything that will make God to satisfy you this year, receive it in the name of Jesus. Come on, say, Father, you are my portion. This year, satisfy me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Come on, ask him to satisfy you. To satisfy you. He is my person. Satisfy me, O oh Lord. Let me not be put to shame. Let me not be put to ridicule. Let me not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. Ekapotalea. Yea, Masotobolea. Satisfy me, Lord. On every side. On every side. On every side. You are my sufficiency. You are my sufficiency, O Lord. Satisfy me on every side. Satisfy me on every side. Hey, Makapa Tabalia. Marebo Shatabalia. Ingaba Setebolia. Yakapo Tabalia. O Lord. You will show me the path of life. In your presence, O oh Lord, there is fullness of joy on your right hand. Is that how you can pray? Ask him to satisfy you this year. Satisfy me, O oh Lord. Oh, satisfy me, Jehovah. The children of Israel lack nothing. Even in the wilderness, they lack nothing. In Jesus' mighty name, you are prayed. When God satisfies you, no matter how hard He gets out there, it does not affect you. When the plagues came upon Egypt, there was a place called Goshen that God kept His people. There is still a Goshen till today. Listen to me. Many might be hungry, but when you are in God's Goshen, it satisfies you. You are going to pray one more time for God to satisfy you. On when God satisfies you, there is nothing that comes out of your mouth but praise. Hallelujah. Come on, say, Father, Father this, year, this year, satisfy me all around. In the name of Jesus. You are my portion, oh Lord. Satisfy me all around. Satisfy me all around. Makapotalia. Satisfy me all around. Yegebo Sandalia. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are prayed. For the next one or two minutes, I want, to, I want you to ask God for your portion. And this time around, please don't economize it. Whatever you are believing God for, go ahead and ask him. Go ahead and ask him. Come on, go ahead and ask him. Go ahead and ask him. Go ahead and ask him. Be specific. 
Be specific. Be bold. Be bold. The righteous are as bold as a lion. You can be bold. Be specific. There is something that makes me to come. This is why I've come this afternoon. This is why I've come this afternoon. This is why I've come this afternoon. There is something that makes me to come into your presence. You are the helper of Israel. I have come unto you. Unto you shall the garden of your people come. Come on, ask him today. Ask him today. A new level of revelation. A new level of ministration. A new level of favor. A new level of mercy. A new level of grace is my portion. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. When I was praying concerning this meeting, God told me to pray Isaiah 60 over you. And as I begin to pray the words of Isaiah 60 over you, I want your amen to be loud. From this day, you will arise and shine. For your light will come. The glory of God will rise upon you. The Lord will arise over you. His glory shall be seen upon you. Gentiles will come to your light. The kings of the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes around you. They all gather together. They will come to you. Your son shall come from afar. Your daughter shall be nursed as your son. You will see and you become radiant. Your heart will swear with joy. The abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The words of the Gentiles shall come to you. The mountain of Hamas shall cover your land. All the people from Sheba, they will come. They will bring you gold and incense. They shall proclaim the praises of the Lord with you. In the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. The coastland, they will wait for you. The ships of Tashish, they will come first. To bring your soul from afar. They will bring their silver and their gold with them. And they will give it to the name of your God. The Holy One of Israel. Because He will be glorified in you. In the name of Jesus. The sons of foreigners will build up your walls. Hey! The sons of foreigners will build up your world. I say again, the sons of foreigners, they will build up your world. They are kings, they shall minister to you. In God's favor, he will have mercy on you. Your gate will open continuously. Your gate will not be shut in the day or night. So that men will bring the wealth of the Gentiles to you. They are kings where will come up lining up to you. In the name of Jesus. Every nation that will not serve you, they will perish. I said every nation that will not serve you, they will be utterly be ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you. The Cypress, the pine, the box together. They will come and you will beautify the sanctuary of the Lord. God Almighty will make this place to be a glorious place. The sons of those who have afflicted you, they will come bound down to you. All those who have despised you, they will come, they will prosper as a fool. They shall call you the city of the Lord. They will call you the Zion of the Holy of Israel. Wherever you have been forsaken and hated, so that nobody went through you, it will make you an eternal excellence. Your name will change. You will be a joy of many generations. 
You shall drink the milk of Gentiles. You shall milk the breast of kings. God Almighty will do it for you. Instead of bronze, he will bring gold to you. Instead of iron, he will bring silver. Instead of wood, he will bring bronze. Instead of sword, he will bring iron. Your officers, they will be at peace with you. Your magistrates will be called righteousness. Violence will no longer be heard in your land. There will be no violence in Nigeria. There will be no violence in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. There will be no more wastage in Abuja. There will be no more destruction in Abuja. Your walls will be called salvation. And your grace shall be great. The sun will no longer be your light by day, nor brightness shall be known. But the Lord will be an everlasting light to you. God will be your glory. Your sun will no longer go down. Your moon will not withdraw itself. Because God will be your everlasting light. And the days of your money has ended. Hey! The days of your crying has ended. You will be righteous. You will inherit this land forever. I say you will be inherit this land forever. A little of you will become a thousand. A small one, a strong nation. Finally, God will ascend this to perfection. Lift up your voice and bless him. Give him thanks this afternoon. Come on, lift up your voice and bless him. Come on, lift up your voice and bless him. Lift up your voice and bless him. Lift up your voice and bless him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As we bow down our heads, I said earlier, a portion is a part of an inheritance. You don't inherit from someone you are not related to. Maybe you are here today. You've not accepted him as your Lord and Savior. You want to give your life to Jesus. I want you to come forward right now. Let me pray with you. Let me pray with you. Let me pray with you. Wherever you are, our time is spent. Wherever you are, just come. Say, Pastor, please, can you pray with me? Just come. Just come. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Come on, say, Pastor, please pray with me. Who is that person? Let me pray with you. Wherever you are. Wherever you are, if you are coming, be fast. Hallelujah. If you are coming, be fast. For you to be part of the person, it must be that you have a connection with Christ. Hallelujah. Who is that person? Any other person? God bless you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. Any other person? Any other person? You are saying, Pastor T, can you pray with me? I want to give my life to Jesus. You are coming, madam. God bless you. Please come. 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 Don't miss out on your inheritance. Be part of this. Be part of this family. Be part of this family. Is there any other person? Is there any other person? Or you are saying there that you backslid it for a while. Due to one issue or the other. But you want to reconcile with God. The prodigal son there, he said, I will arise and go back to my father's house. Wherever you are, come. 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 We'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. We'll wait for you. Our, our time is fast spent. We'll wait for you. Who is that person? Let me pray with you. Is there any other person? Please, I want you to pray after me. Say, Heavenly Father. I come before you in the name of Jesus. I have sinned against you. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. With my heart, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Today, I ask him to come into my life and be my God and be my Savior in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this once, Almighty God. You say, whosoever comes unto you will not cast them out. As they have confessed their sins and have proclaimed, Almighty God, that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. I ask, Almighty God, that you wash them clean in the blood, in the name of Jesus. I ask today, Almighty God, that as they walk with you, Lord, you will walk with them. You will hold them by their hands, O oh Lord. Write their names in the book of life. On that day, Almighty God, let them inherit part of that portion as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, the portion of dining with you on that day. Father, we thank you. We bless and we exalt you, Lord. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed.